Here we have the pack, uh, LP7-2, right there. Um, <clears throat> I'm using this for uh, my Audi A4. I wanna hook up these two Pioneer 12s and a Boss amp. It's, uh, I don't know, the amp is kinda shit, to be honest, but I'm gonna be hooking it up. I already got the power wire. The amp is already grounded to the top. Um, I still have stock radio, so uh, I didn't want to go the aftermarket head unit route, so that's why we're going to be using a line output converter. Line output converter basically takes the signal from your um, OEM speakers or speaker wires from, like, just for example, what I'm doing is taking the signal from the OEM sub, going to be running it through this line output converter, which will convert it from, I think... I know, I'm not exactly how, I'm not exactly sure how it goes, but it'll be converting it from high output to low output, so my amp will receive it and we'll be able to take it out or amp it up. I mean, I'm having an issue taking this out. Okay, voila, there we go. So um, comes with all the cables, obviously. Um, comes with a small screwdriver. And obviously the line output converter. Um, if I'm not wrong, the screwdriver is to adjust this. I'm not sure what it is for or what that adjustment is used for, but I don't know. This is my first time doing something like this. Yeah, this comes with the screwdriver, all these connectors, and I'll tell you what these connectors are for in a second. All right, so I've got the speakers all, um, or not the speaker, I got the wires all untangled. And if we look at here, so yellow is constant, so that will go to your power. Remote, this one actually has a remote turn on. That's actually one of the reasons I bought it, so I didn't have to tap into a fuse to be able to turn the amp on and off. So the remote is the blue. Chassis ground is black, obviously, you just put it in the ground. Um, the brown wire, uh, it's optional. It's for audio ground, so I think that means you can ground it to the chassis and any time there's sound it will detonate or something like that I, i'm not sure but it's optional i'm not going to be using it i'll probably just snip it off the harness um front or these two inputs so these two uh i was reading up on some forums people get really confused about them on why they are rca and why they're not just um cut like these ones so sometimes you can use rca um, extensions to run this back to a factory unit or even an aftermarket unit if you need to um but we're not going to be we're just going to be cutting these off um the the one with the black line in it will be the negative so this one's negative and then the ones that don't are going to be positive i believe so so see right oh see right here this one's black this one's just full gray so the right one will be our negative, left one will be our positive. Same with this one, the one with the black will be negative, the one with white will be positive. So that's the harness. Um, the amp will be connecting into these two. We'll run our RCAs from our, or from this into our amp to be able to get it, to get signal. And then um, it'll go into our amp. So the signal from the OEM speaker will be going into here which will actually be going into these two. And then the rest of these are kind of just like accessory wires, the ground, the power, the remote, and then the audio ground, which we're not going to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and take apart the speaker or take apart the thing hiding the speaker out from back there so I can see the connects. And then we'll go from there. I have some spare wire that I can use. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so we've got my OEM sub connections right there. Uh, you can actually see the wires right here. Oh, I can't really see anything, can you? All right, uh, so this is a Audi A4 2006. So um, the brown one will be my negative, red one will be my positive. So if we just look at it like that, this one will be negative, this one will be positive. I'll actually be connecting uh, my line output converter to here. How I'm gonna secure it uh, I don't know. I think I'll probably just end up wrapping it around, to be honest. Because I don't know how to solder and I don't have 
you know, anything that can actually secure it properly. So I'll probably just end up twisting it on, maybe putting a clip on it, but yeah. So this one would be my negative, this one would be my positive. I'll tap into these. As far as the line output converter harness goes, this one, uh, I'm going to be cutting these, so just... Okay, so I'm going to be cutting these, both of these, to cut the RCA off, and then I'm also going to be cutting this brown wire short, because just to keep it out of the way, I'm not going to be using it anyway. So I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. Alright, and that's what it looks like. Just cut the RCAs off, cut this brown wire off. So, um, like I said, these are two separate wires. It's a negative and a positive. Like you see that, you can split them, negative and a positive goes for both of them yeah negative and a positive so what you can do is actually take these two things apart and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist the negative and the positive from each together and then put it on the negative and positive from or on my subwoofer so I'll show you what that looks like boom uh, now we've got our positives two positives they're both the solid colors wired and our negative wired together. So now what we will do is wire these um, straight on to the um, to the OEM posts that I showed you earlier on my OEM subwoofer. So yeah, we'll go wire these on and then we will worry about all of these, the ground and everything. We'll worry about all of these later. All right, all right. so I did a lot of wiring and a lot of work uh, and I didn't film it, sadly. But basically all I did was um, I stripped these wires, the power, ground, and remote. I put connectors on them. They're all hooked up to the amp. They're all right there. So uh, for the LP7-2 or for any line output converter, you can just get power from the power cable. You can get ground from the ground cable on your amp. And obviously the remote will go where the remote is. Um, how I got signal was... Oh, this is kind of hard to show. Oh, right there. All right. Uh, how I got signal was this connector right here. So before that connector that runs down there now plugged into there. Right, right there. And that's what brought it over to the sub. Obviously, I'm not going to need this OEM sub. I have two 12s sitting in front of me. So, yeah, I took it out. Let's see if I can show you. And I literally plugged in connectors into where the uh, into where the connection would go. So one of them is ground, and the other one is power. One of them is ground, one of them is power. And... I just, I plugged it into the connector. So that's how we're gonna be getting signal into the line output converter. So if we'll be able to see this, now that it's all hooked up, everything's hooked up, my power wire's on, my power wire's connected to the battery. Um, it's not connected to the sub yet, yet, but everything for the amp is hooked up right now. So let's go see if the amp will turn on with my key because it's it's a line up converter with a remote so let's see so the amp is off i'm gonna put in my key oh look at that it's lighting up so yes wow that's actually very accomplishing and then once we turn it off it's off and once we turn it back on boom the amp powers up so, now that we don't have to worry about this amp draining our battery, we can actually hook up the speakers because we have signal, we have ground, we have power, we have remote, and that's about it. I mean, that's it's, it's very simple. When I first went into this project, I was actually really scared that I was gonna mess something up and I was scared that it was harder than what it really was, but I've only been out here for maybe an hour or so. And I mean, with the help of a couple of YouTube videos, I was able to get this line up a converter all set up. So 
All we need now is our RCA cables from here into our amp. Boom, it's gonna be on this side of the amp right there. RCA cables, and then obviously we're gonna have to wire our sub. After grabbing my RCA cables, I realized that these things are crazy long. They're actually, I think these are meant to run from the head unit back there all the way to the trunk that's why they are so long so i mean that's something i'm just gonna have to deal with these are the only rcas that i have so basically the two colors literally just you know keep the two colors so say black goes into the red and then on the other side have the black go into the red it's kind of self-explanatory uh after we hook up the rcas i will show you how to wire subs in series all right so this is how i have them wired up um i don't know what like i don't understand subwoofers and all the ohms and the du dual coils and things like that but um i found a guide on how to wire subs like this and uh, the green tape is positive so this positive small wire goes to this negative and I just have that. So positive to negative and then negative to the positive. You can kind of see, kind of see what I did there. Yep, and then I just uh, taped this because I had no indication of what was positive. So just don't worry about the big wires, but this is how I have it. So these two big wires, the positive and the negative, Go up to the amp and then the small wires go to go from this sub to that sub or from this to sub to that sub whatever you want to call it but everything's wired up um i know it is a big mess in my back seat a lot of it is this i have so much rca cable i don't know how i'm gonna manage it but um all right like i mean everything's wired up everything's tested the remote's working LC or uh, LOC line output converter LOC is all put together. My signal wires. I I know it's a little ghetto. I'm actually like considering if it's not gonna work or not. I don't know, but I mean I guess we'll see when we try to play something. But if it does work out, then I will manage all these cords. And if it doesn't, I will just give up on everything and throw everything away. So let's see if this thing works. All right, I know it sounds like shit because the right speaker is blown and only the left one is like good. So the right speaker is completely blown. I bought it off a guy on Facebook Marketplace. So with the right speaker being blown, it doesn't sound as good at all. The amp is also garbage. The amp is straight garbage. But the line output converter did work completely and thoroughly. It's doing a really good job. The reason it sounds like shit is because I have a shitty blown sub and a shitty amp. So, I mean, the line, out line output converter itself worked, but it's just my setup that makes it sound so bad. so the subs do work everything works fine i did all the wiring correctly uh but i bought this second hand off someone and i've come to realize that uh the amp there's something wrong with the amp when you move it just a tiny bit it'll cut out the power to the amp will cut out if you just kind of like move it around so i'm gonna check all my connections but uh the subwoofer itself which has nothing to do with the line output converter uh, I think this one's blown and something else, they're, they're, but this one is definitely blown. This one's making, like, it's, it's definitely blown, but it's kind of, I mean, it's just, it's expected. I bought this whole setup off someone for only a hundred bucks amp and, um, the subs. So, I mean, I guess I'll just live with it. I am pretty happy with it though. I'm kind of disappointed that, uh, this one was blown, but uh, yeah, the amp is kind of weird, which has nothing to do with the lineup converter itself. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with, uh, the line output converter. Obviously it works. My connections up there work and everything. Uh, pretty happy with it. I have no complaints about, you know, any of the wiring. I definitely learned a lot, but 
yeah, it's kind of sucky that the subs and the amp weren't weren't exactly what I wanted, but for only a hundred bucks, it's it's not that bad. But yeah, that's how you wire a line output converter. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I got a pretty good setup now. It's just, eh, it's, I mean, it is what it is for a hundred bucks, so.